Hello loves, welcome back to another video. Um, so today we're doing another tour of Five Hearts of Wisdom, the series. This is um, Two Hearts um, and a lot of you uh, really like the Kravika series so I'm going to be continuing that. Um, but without further ado, let's get into the video, shall we? What's your problem? yelled Sakura. You're my fucking problem, yelled back. What, because of that stupid prank? You played with his feelings and broke his heart, so yeah, it may have been a little prank to you and Sasuke, but did you ever stop to think about the consequences it might have caused? Oh wow, so I'm the bad guy here. Yes, that's the point I'm trying to get across. You stood there, silence filling the air you were breathing. Sakura smirked as you could face her no longer. Do you like him? Shut up, he said, not letting her finish. I mean, it's totally fine, she continued stepping forward. You still looked at the floor because you knew if you looked up, it would mean you admitting your feelings, and there was no way you could do that with Naruto watching. Sakura and Sasuke had planned to prank Naruto. Sakura and Sasuke planned to prank Naruto with making him believe Sakura had fallen in love with Naruto because of a dream she had the previous night. You obviously could see through the act, and it angered you, seeing your childhood crush fall for something so dumb. But that's not what angered you the most. It was the fact that Sakura knew Naruto liked her, and the fact that she knew she didn't return his feelings. You hated her, you wanted to burn every single follicle of hair on her pretty little head. Sakura stopped the prank when Naruto tried to kiss her. Naruto found out right then and there that it was all a lie. He acted like he knew, but on the inside he was hurt, and for a whole month didn't come out of his house. He understood him needing time to himself, but would knock on the store once a day to see if he was ready to come out. Whenever he did, it was for groceries, and you never caught him. What those two did was cruel, you knew. But what you did to yourself was even worse. You, well, knew that Naruto didn't like you. Not in that way. And may never will. But you were done pretending like they didn't exist. You caught Naruto finally, right before he was shutting his door, and shoved your arm through with a yelp of pain. Oh, Wayne, are you okay? Yeah, you said, your arm now shaking, but you didn't remove the bone from where it was placed. Wayne, move your arm. No, you shouted in defiance. He rolled his eyes. I need you to move the arm to open the door. Oh, fine. You casually pulled your arm back and felt a gush of wind as the door in front of you swinged open. You were greeted with an unwelcoming frown that lay upon the yellow-haired boy. A smile drew on you, and you put your arms behind your back. He huffed, then stepped aside for you to walk in. Yay, he said as you skipped inside. A few blood particles fled to Naruto's face as he watched your happy-go-lucky self plop on his bed. What do you need? He asked. You frowned, but looked into his eyes, not breaking for serious purposes, and said, I'm going to approach Sakura, and I want you to watch what happens. What? I deserve that much with how distant you've been lately. What? No, that's ridiculous. You've been a total jerk. He stopped mid-sentence, just staring at you. Ugh, fine, Ryan, you're such a child. So? Now that you had gotten where you were in a full-out rage battle between the queen of rage herself, you've been acting different ever since, Wyan. Are you sure it's not because- Okay, she's close enough, you thought right before you looked up and smacked the smirk clean off her face. She flew to the side due to the force of your hand. You could hear gasps from your peers that had tried to break up the argument ever since it became too serious, but being serious was long gone. She didn't move, her face in shock looking to the floor. What the fuck now? You shouted in her ear. You were about her height and had about the same patient tolerance as her. Your friends had never seen you go off, especially to a person your age. Sakura picked her head up and rubbed the spot where you had smacked her. You bitch. Yeah, I can be. Whoa, whoa, Naruto said. You both looked up at him with an annoyed and angry attitude. Calm down, both of you, he said. Sakura, stop, Choji yelled. No, if they want to talk, then they should be able to back it up, she argued. And with one turn of you, your fist met her face, or more precisely, her nose. You felt it, she felt it. Yep, that thing was broken. Just like his heart, you shouted after retracting your arm. You walked past your fellow classmates, not looking at any of them, though they all stared at you, making way for you to pass. You stumbled upon a small river and sat on a rock. You whispered, smiling to yourself. That sure felt good. Oh, really? A voice called from behind. You turn your gaze from the clear blue and white stream to face a person. You've been wanting to do that for a long time. He asked. Maybe. You smiled, being able to identify the stranger as Naruto. You sure are weird, Wayan. What? How? Well, for starters, I thought you were this shy, timid person. 
kind of like Hinata. But once I got to know you, you started acting a lot like Sakura. You scrunched your nose at the sound of her name. <laughs> but you're a nicer version. So in short, I'm better? You said as a statement. Well, I guess if you put it into words. Oh, it wasn't a question. You said smirking. You really are weird. That's obviously a good thing. You said, placing your hand in a tiny river. Okay, love, so now this one was short, but um, I still hope you enjoyed it. Kisses to you all. Again, thank you for the non-stop channel growing. Bye, loves. Now the girls are looking fine, but you're the only one on my mind. Now the girls are looking fine, but you're the only one on my mind.